Hey there, welcome to Create Full Art. Today I'd love to show you how to paint this chicken with these cute little chicks in this very loose style of painting. It'll be really fun. I'm glad that you joined me. Let's get started. To begin, all you need is a square canvas panel, piece of paper, or panel. You can use whatever size you have. I'm going to be using an 8x8 to show you. With. Feel free to always enlarge your paintings if you want or make them smaller. I'm going to be using these colors that I showed my Create Floor Art members how to mix. This is the color palette for this fall season that we're going to be pulling from. So if you join the Art Loving or the VIP membership, you can get access to a video where I show you how to mix these colors. And you also get the reference photo to help you paint along. So there's a lot of fun perks with becoming a member. So for your information, these are the colors that I used to mix those. I used titanium white, ivory black, or if you have any type of black, like Payne's gray, anything will work. Brilliant blue, follow cyan blue, magenta, quantocridone magenta, cadmium red, bronze yellow, and cadmium yellow. I have put a link in the description to where you can get these paints in a set. So the next thing you're gonna need are some painting tools. I like to grab a wash brush. This one's a one inch flat. I also like to grab a palette knife. I have some round brushes here that are in the set that I recommend below. They're size four, a detail brush, five zero, and I think this one's a size eight. It's been covered with a lot of paint. So um, yes, it's size eight. <laughs> I also grabbed my toothbrush just in case I wanna do some splattering. And my favorite brush of all times is my half inch flat. Then all you need is water and paper towels and you're ready to start painting. So this is gonna be a really fun, loose background. So all you need is your red color and just put it down in a crisscross way for some texture. Now I'm also gonna be pulling from my black just to give some dimension in there. And from that light blue color, and notice how I didn't wash my brush, just to get that fun in the background. So go ahead and crisscross, adding a little bit of black whenever you want to, all the way down to about right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of the red in certain spots down here, just so you can see a little bit below. And then I'm grabbing from this gold color that I made and putting that down at this lower bottom. And don't worry about the red mixing in with the gold. That's okay. I'm still going in that crisscross formation with my brush strokes and my flat brush. This is the underlayer. Let that dry. Once your underlayer starts to dry, you can pull some of this light blue color and pull it in in just some small areas as a top layer. You can do the same. And then I'm gonna lighten my yellow over here, that gold color, and put some of the light on top of it. Crisscross motion, this is a longer slant motion, you know, to give it some variety. But it doesn't matter, it can be whatever and where I want some dark red, I'm gonna put that in there too. Let's get some lines in here. And this is just gonna add a little bit more to that background. Okay, messy, wonderful. If yours is messy too, then you're doing great. Go on to the next step. For this step, I'm grabbing my detail brush. I'm going to use my white with a little bit of the blue in it. So in this step, I'm actually putting down the composition or sketching out the chicken. Now, if you need to, use my reference photo to help you paint this. 
so that you can get the proportions correct. I'm just doing it by sight, but if you need to draw yours with a watercolor pencil to get it right, then go ahead and do so in this step. So I'm going to use the halfway point of my painting because there's going to be a little chick right here to help me determine where I want my chicken. So I'm just going to go a little past it with my tail and I might move that tail up or down depending on how I get my chicken down and I'm going to do it like this okay so I'm not sketching it like perfectly like a line I'm going to start adding the little feathers in there from the get-go and I'm deciding where I want those feathers for the beginning I only have so much time to paint and then the head's gonna be right here So this is how I sketch out a lot of my paintings, especially if it's a very loose painting like this. And then I can always move things or make things bigger. A little bit too much blue in that, but that's okay, I'll leave it there. It's just fun. So you have the head right here, and then it goes out, so it goes to the right in a slant. And then you bring that in like that. So curved line. And then you have your feet. So you want your feet to be past your head. Maybe a little less, but and then your other foot to go over that foot. So this is the back foot, this is the front foot. And then it connects back here to these these feathers. That's how you do that. And then I like to just kind of give me an idea with my brush here where the wing is. So it's right here. Here's that wing and the wing comes up to right around here. I'm just going to give myself an idea where these feet go. I can grab yellow if I want. I'll just do that. straight down and then a slant line two pokes from that slanted line and then this one goes this direction it's up further slanted line and I'll leave that as a poke and this one as a poke this is not a super detailed painting, so it doesn't matter. Now, if I want my chicken to go up higher or anything like that, all I do is expand my lines, go up like this. It's not a huge deal because it's just the sketch, it's the underlayer, and then I just pull this out. Now I'm going to draw my little baby chicky where they're gonna be. I'm gonna start with the feet just cause I know where I want the feet to be. And three little lines. And three little lines. Okay, so that helps me. And then here it is. Kind of a longer circle, little oval. And a slant, kind of like an egg shape really and then the head and it's got its beak looking down. Now you can give yourself more cheekies if you want. That is the sketch. Now what I want to do is really make these stand out. Now I like to make my feathers still show. Okay, so I'm still going in the direction of the feathers when it, with my brush strokes like that, but it's lighter. It's that white color. And remember, you have your feathers right here and the wing going out too. And then under here. And I'm not covering all the blue and I'm not covering all that red either. So the white is showing right through here. And I'm letting that line separate. 
coming in here with the head getting this to using the flat of my brush to get a nice line and dipping it to my yellow for a little bit brighter of a yellow this is just the next layer the beak is going to be out like this I'm using my detail brush for this because this is a detail and then I'm going to have the red right here I'm just going to show where I'm putting that red and then a line underneath right here the a line right here and then the eye right here I'm just going to get that in right now with the black and it's a circle but there's also a little bit of a slant right here see how it goes like that almost as if it had one little eyelash I'm gonna just take a little bit of that black right through here add some of that and a little bit of the black right there to provide some shadow that. Okay, so now I'm going to take this round, the number four, and I'm going to fill in these little baby chickies. Now I want one of them to be black because I had chickens growing up and one of them was always black and the other ones were white. So I think I'm going to make that one black and these ones white or like a combination of white and brown. Just filling in the color. Notice how I keep the blue. I don't want to cover those lines and not have any anything separating them. Okay, and then this one. It's going to be white. Okay, I'm going to use a little black on the legs. And then a little black eyeball. Right, right close to its beak. So you have to get that right. Otherwise it will look funny. So this one closer to its beak. Just gonna kind of do that. Orange little beak. Orange little beaky. So some of this is gonna go right into the background. So I'm just gonna take the blue to define it. So cute. And a little bit of dimension on your feet. Some light hitting it. I'm going to take my detail brush. I'm going to get a nice feather right here. It's right here. Some lines right here. And I'm going to start putting in some purple. So just for some dimension. This is where the shadows would be. So underneath the wings make a line right here a line right here it's going to define that area right here on the back of the legs and in this belly area there's usually some shadows right here. I'm going to give it a little shadow of a feather right there. And a little bit of purple along here. Now I'm going to make this really white through here. And add a little bit of the glowing yellow. Let that come out of the neck. Right through here. Along here. Just a few little yellow bits in here. And I'm going to take some blue down here. And cool this down. 
mostly going to have so different colors in it and the white is going to show on top. Right. So now we're getting into these little details where we got the red showing underneath. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just two brush strokes down and then get some over here because they have this little ear thing. And I'm going to grab just a little bit black to define this area a little bit more. This pink color is one of the colors that I wanted to use. So I'm going to grab that color and put that around and right by the eye. So there's a lot of red and pink going on in the face of chickens. Now you have this red right next to this red so we're gonna have to define it with some white. So I'm gonna get this color in though and then straighten that line on the bottom. And it goes to the beak and then fill in that beak with yellow. And let that yellow kind of go and disappear into that pink. Now we're almost to the final details. Okay, so this is when you look at the composition and you change things that you see need to be changed. Now I have a really busy background and I have a really busy chicken. So, you know, this right here doesn't help define this chicken. So I'm gonna just go next to it and I'm gonna soften it's just a little bit around here. And how I'm gonna do that is just have a little bit on my brush of color and soften these lines. I'll pull that red. See how I'm kind of just going through and softening some things? Softening the background so that this can be the focal point. Moving that color and softening around the chickens is really going to help it stand out a little more. So this is called glazing, is what I'm doing so you can see the colors underneath. And I gave a whole art lesson on this. So all these techniques that I use, I explain them and why I use them and when to use them and how to use them in my weekly art lessons. So go ahead and sign up if you like those. Just added an option to pay for the entire year of weekly art lessons. Color. And I'm just paying attention to the composition here and pull that color down like this. Then I'm going to cool some of this color down right where they're sitting. Give it some shadow. And just kind of play with it until you're happy with this part. I'm going to put in some defining lines. So black right here. This is just the shadow of the comb. Right where it hits the beak. On the outside here, I'm going to kind of shape this a little bit. I'm going to take this blue color and right on the edge of this to define it. Not completely cover it, but to just define it. And white dot on its eye. Okay, and then you put that white dot in the other eyes. So look back and see if there's any changes that you want to make, that you need to make, 
to make it look better. Remember this is a very flowy painting. It's not meant to be perfect. Just so. have some fun, be creative, make it your own, and then sign your work when you're done. And thank you so much for creating with me. I hope you learned a lot. If you want to get weekly art lessons, go ahead and click on that right corner and sign up for those. And you will also get the reference photo and color mixing video. And there's more videos to watch and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.